and let's just do a color comparison. Here's here's the stuff I'm putting on right now on this column. And here's the other stuff. That one actually does look like it's got a little bit more green hue to it, doesn't it? Just a hair. And so that's what I think is happening. And that one that one had some uh, some oil and stuff on there. And see it says save for touch up. And I think what happened is when they first did the stucco on this house, they uh, they mixed some of this up and, and left it with the owner. And it's been sitting in the garage for the last 15 years. 15 years? 17 years? It's been sitting in the garage and it's still pliable and workable? I don't know. I just don't know. But it's been it's been in there for a while. And this one is maybe 15 years old. 16 years old. For this over here. That's what that's what I'm thinking. Okay. So they used they used the drive it before and this other stuff is not called drive it. The stuff I'm putting on right now, what is this called? I forget. USG exterior textured finish. And USG, usually when you see a container like that you you think there's there's sheetrock mud in it and but and and for textured finish I've seen sheetrock mud that has a texture in it that you can roll on with the with a with a paint roller cover uh, and then have texture on there instead of spraying it on and I would have thought that's what I thought this was initially but this has this has sand in it and so USG must must make another another thing. See on there on the side it says sand. Textured finish and it's got sand in it. And see I, from here I can now see this one's lighter than that one. So I've got a pretty good feeling the one that we're putting on the wall is going to blend in. Look at that. Look at that. It's only been a few minutes. You see that? It's 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 blending in, isn't it? Now I still have to do some more. That's where I put the paint on. And I might have to add just a little bit more right in there so I don't see uh, that it looks like a caulking line. You know? But wow, that's pretty good. Well, let's take a look at, at this side. This is that darker one. And that's that's blending in a lot better too. Look at that. See all the black little holes that I was telling you about? If you put if you put your patch material on too much and too thick and hard, you cover up some of those little black holes. See like right in there? I covered up too many of them right there. Had I just brushed it on the outside surface, like right in here, it looks better. Live and learn, huh? But see, some of it was going to cover anyways where I put the where I put the caulking. So in order to get rid of the caulking line, then you've got to put more sand on there and blend it in. Uh, ultimately, I think I'm going to have to end up doing this whole column with that other color. And speaking of that other color, i got to get that lid back on it before I get too much air in it. It's very important to always remember that, okay? I'm going to stick that lid on for here, for now. I can always pull it back off. With that nice little rubber gasket on there is for is to keep the air out see that black gasket in there right there so before I put this one on I'm gonna have to looks like I'm gonna have to clean out some of it on, on this one here before I 
before I finish that. That's not going to be perfect or anything, but at least it'll help me get it a little better up against the wall there. Okay, so I'm going to keep I'm going to keep patching those, and I'm going to do these side ones over here too. up so I can get you in here a little bit better. Maybe, maybe like there, huh? Okay, that'll have to do. That will have to do. went pretty close to the step and I cut that all in with the other paint and it's too dark so I'm just gonna take some more of this and just kind of blend it in there That sand that got on the step already is already uh, like dry. Now, if I get some of this on the on the step, that'll be okay because I've got to repaint the or cut into the steps later at the end. Be something that the first time you do your cut in, don't be too worked up. Find out later that oh shoot, I'm gonna have to cut that in again, or I'm gonna have to do more. It's just a little trial and error. But see, it's okay that I painted it with that other. I kind of figured it was too. It was, it was too dark. I thought I'll, I'll figure something out. And let's see this. I'm not, I'm not getting cut in all the way down to the step. I don't think. It's kind of hard to, to do it. I 
guess if I just push it right in there, it'll work. Maybe I should get this, this one in there a little closer too. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.